I'm not sure if many others are going through this, but I personally feel like my gangster has been tested several times within the past couple of months. Um, not past couple of months, but within the past 30 days. I don't do this a lot as often as I used to, just because I've really indulged in, you know, putting time, attention, and effort into me as opposed to other people, other circumstances outside of me. Let me just say this. I don't know if I said it before, but I used to have a belief, and I know that there's many other people who have this belief, that perfection existed within other people, within other circumstances. And so one day, I really, really sat and I thought about it, and I'm just like, I myself am not perfect. How can anything that I want outside of me how can I expect anything outside of me to be perfect? Whether this be a person, whether this be a circumstance, whether this be an outcome, um, it just didn't fit. It just didn't make sense to me. Um, and it dawned on me that I am the greatest being in all things that I want created, manifested, or brought to fruition into my life circumstance. Therefore, when I say I am not perfect, I'm not perfect, but I am perfect enough for me. So there is nothing greater than me. There is nothing higher than me. There is nothing more important than me. And it really took me a long time to actually sit there and let that marinate into, you know, this big ass skull of mine um, so that I can ultimately start appreciating all that I truly am and all that I, I embody. Um, and once you do that, Things just start changing for you. Things just start moving. Um, and within the past 30 days, I've really seen so many amazing things shift in my way. Um, I always say that I like to be a positive light, but I'm learning how to integrate things and circumstances and outcomes to a way where I can be a better, a better person. I can be better of better at being of service first and foremost to myself and then once I choose to stop indulging and in, uh, being of service to myself then going out and being of service to other individuals so um, make sure that you take the time to you know appreciate all that you are make sure you take the time to stop feeling like you aren't worthy make sure you take the time to understand that you are an amazing being and that you are the most important being in anything that is going on in your life circumstance because without you then nothing can exist none of the things that you have none of the people none of the circumstances none of the outcomes that you want can exist without you being 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 there um so with that being said the past 30 days have been really 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 amazing um aside from the fact that if you cannot tell there's about a 35 plus pound difference on me uh, as opposed to what, June, July um, where I was you know, a little slighter a little slighter, um, battling depression, battling anxiety, battling sleepless, sleepless nights, worrying um, just so much stress that was brought on by self um, and also remember that at the end of the day anything that you are going through, any trials and tribulations, they're brought on by self ultimately no one can put you in a place where you are feeling like you aren't worthy. No one can put you in a place where you are feeling like you are not good enough, uh, where you are in a state of lack. Ultimately, you put yourself in this hole, so it's up to you to get yourself out of it. But, you know, as opposed to me being in that state, as opposed to me being there, you know, I can honestly say, like, three months later, fast forward, that life is truly amazing. So many things are happening. So many things have happened. And I'm forever blessed for all of that. And it all started when I started to appreciate me. And I started integrating the act of self-love instead of just speaking on it. Because so many people are really good. And I'm one of them. Are really good at giving advice. But aren't willing to take the advice. They aren't willing to let the advice that's coming out of their mouth marinate within their own personal experience so that they can become the best versions of themselves. And I'm learning how to do that. And it's 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 really good. It's really good. Um, so surrendering, loving me, and just doing things that make me happy have been an amazing tool um, that that I have learned, that I have I have integrated into my life so that I can ultimately thrive and just live a live a flowing life. I don't like to say a, a, a happy life because at the end of the day, up and down. You know, life has its ups and downs. You just flow with it and you take things for what they are and you, you just, it is what it is. So with that being said, I wanted to give um, some advice. Let me put on my um, be of service cap. It's like, early in the morning and this man is fucking screaming this is one of my triggers this is one of my tests when it's early in the morning 
and you want to start over here screaming like it doesn't make any sense but nonetheless it's none of my business not though for here nor there i don't really care <laughs> um if you have people watching you self-destruct, if you have people who are not helping you, if you have people who are not promoting you to be a better version of you, then you really should reevaluate the people who you have in your life. I've said this before. Many people know that. Um, no one who actually loves you and cares about you is going to watch you go down a road where you are unhappy, where you are destroying yourself, where you are mentally just not there. That's first things first. That was one of the things that I learned. Um, second thing, it's so easy to call people your friends. It's so people easy to call people, to say that people love you and support you, when in all actuality, people only support and love the things that you can do for them. Um, pay attention to those people. Pay attention to the people who are not applauding you for the choices that you choose to make that make you happy. Uh, pay attention to the people who only choose to applaud you, who only choose to make you feel that you are good enough when you are doing something that they feel is good for you because at the end of the day you ultimately have to do what's best for you um also very big on this i wanted to address a certain thing because this is going to be really slight uh really 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 slight if you are facing criticism understand that anyone who is criticizing you is already beneath you anyone who is mocking you uh, making you feel that you are not good enough making you feel that you aren't deserving um whatever the case is anyone who's just bringing negative energy into your life circumstance anyone who you feel is harming you on a spiritual level also physical level um these people are already beneath you these people are trying to hinder you these people are trying to stop you it's up to you to choose to allow these things to keep you held back or to you know see that they are nothing more than hinders, blockages, and hurdles that you have to hop over so that you can ultimately go where it is that you are destined to go. Um, don't get stuck at all because it's very easy to get stuck. Um, and I like to say, I've heard the saying where, you know, people can get stuck in other people's lives and circumstance. You put yourself in that circumstance when you chose not to overcome a circumstance or an issue. Uh, so that you can ultimately evolve. Everything happens for a reason. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. I speak that all the time. Um, even though I don't speak as much as I used to, it is what it is. I'm sorry, I indulge in myself, I love myself. I really just don't care about a lot of the shit that I used to care about, but I have a little bit of time, so let me give you like a little slight piece of advice. That was the advice. Also, I really, really am happy um, and really proud of myself. Because um, I think that's very important that, you know, if no one tells you, you have to tell yourself, right? I'm really proud of myself for becoming everything that I am, for going through everything that I've went through, for seeing things and changing my perspective from victim to success. I'm really proud of myself for doing things that I never thought that I would do. I'm telling when I tell you guys, these past 30 days have been true truly amazing they've been truly amazing things that i never thought that i would receive i've been getting people i never thought i would meet i've been meeting um opportunities and circumstances that i didn't really think were possible for me have been you know just coming into my life circumstance into fruition and it's just really like oh you know and it really just all amounts to loving yourself and knowing that you are worthy of everything that you've ever wanted so with that being said the hell is that oh <laughs> it's early um so don't mind my foolishness early in the morning but with that being said i wanted to do something slight um and just say how proud i am of myself and give a little bit of piece of advice advice and guidance and also express how proud i am of starting this journey of hormones because many people don't know that i'm starting hormones and it's really Yeah, no. <laughs> it's it's gonna be something. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But you know, I just wanted to do something slight because I don't do this as much. I don't do this as often. Um, and it might sound selfish to sit there and be like, you know, you don't really care about stuff that you used to, or you don't really want to do as much as you used to. But at the end of the day, you have to be selfish sometimes. And being selfish is. It's good for you sometimes. I'll, I'll say that. It's really good for you. The problem is not to get so 
the problem is not to get to a point where you're so selfish that you completely forget and ignore everyone and you don't go out into the world and integrate because at the end of the day that was something that I was kind of starting to do but when spirit calls when the universe calls and tell you to get your ass back out there for some people you jump on it and I'm one of those people where I'll <sighs> all right I'll give it a minute I'll give it a try but um yeah if you heard something take it let it marinate this motherfucker still yelling in this room and it's like eight o'clock in the morning i'm gonna have to go walk somewhere because this is not making any sense that's what i wanted to say if you are noticing triggers that you felt that you got over like if you're noticing that you are getting angry if you notice that um things are starting to happen where you feel like oh this is the old me i used to get mad at this or i used to do this this done the third it's nothing more than mercury retrograde i promise you it'll be over soon it is, it's literally just here to test you to see how far you've come if you've really changed. Because I tell you right now, this shit that I'm hearing right now, I don't know if you can hear it, but this shit right here would have had me busting glasses in this house, would have had me breaking windows and shit like that. And it's just Mercury retrograde. Notice these triggers. Notice these 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 past patterns that are popping up into your life. Because um, at the end of the day, they, it's just it's just Mercury. Retrograde. Retro gay. I think I said that right. I think I said that right. If I didn't, oh well. Uh, but yeah, notice these patterns, notice these triggers, and overcome them. Show the universe that you are a better person than what you used to be. Show the universe that you've overcome these patterns and that you are not letting anything trigger you, hinder you, hold you back. Show the universe that you have become better than what you used to be. You're an evolving individual, you're an evolving being. Love yourself, be great, be positive. And go out and be the best version of you. As you should be doing already.